hey friends this is Vidhan welcome you to my channel today we have a problem from June 2015 question number is 45 and booklet code is C it is from digital electronics it asks which of the following circuits behaves as a controlled inverter so which of the circuit is a controlled inverter and the basic confusion about this problem is what is a controlled inverter and that's why at the very beginning let me tell you that a controlled inverter is same as a ZOR gate that means a ZOR gate and a controlled inverter are same things now how to tackle this problem for that we will first of all write down the boolean expression for the ZOR gate and then we will find the boolean expression of each option one by one and we will see that the boolean expression of which option matches with the boolean expression of the ZOR gate and that will be the answer so I repeat my statement that what we will do we will write down the boolean expression for the ZOR gate or the controlled gate they are same things and then we will find the boolean expression of each of them and we will check that boolean expression of which matches with the boolean expression of the ZOR gate so the ZOR gate initially we see if two signals A and B going through inverters then going to AND gates this is A bar and this is B bar and a signal pure signal from B goes to the upper AND gate and a pure signal from A goes to the lower AND gate then this is B and this signal is A so here we have a bar dot b dot is and operation and here we have a dot b bar and finally these two separate signals go to an or gate so finally we have a bar dot b or operation a dot b bar and this is the boolean expression for ZOR gate ZOR gate so this is and this is same as I have already told you this is same as controlled inverter controlled inverter so this is same as ZOR gate this we have to remember now we will find the boolean expression for the first given option for the first circuit and check whether this matches with the boolean expression of ZOR gate no for convenience the two signals IP and control each option is con containing IP control IP control IP control so for convenience we will name them as we will name them differently that means we will change their names so let us change their names let us change the names as let us write input signal let us call signal A and control signal let us call signal B for convenience for sake of convenience only now from the first option if we see this is a NAND gate that means this is A and this is B we have named it IPEA and we have named control as B so A dot B and this circle this circle shows a negation that means there will be a bar that means from option A we have a dot B bar and this just doesn't match with this expression so it is a wrong option now let us go to option B now option B gives us see here two signals for this NAND gate the both the signals are A signals because here both the signals have been joined here so a dot a because it is and operation and since it is a circle so it shows negation a dot a bar a dot a bar and then we have this a dot a bar goes to another NAND gate with another signal b so this goes to b this that means and and not another NAND gate and if you see downside then 
for this NAND gate both the inputs are input B that means control inputs so B dot B bar because NAND since here is a here is a circle it shows NAND now this B dot B bar goes to this NAND gate with another signal A so this goes to this dot A and another bar this shows another operation with NAND gate now this separate signal and this signal again go to another NAND gate so separately this signal and this signal go to another NAND gate that means AND and NOT okay so this is our expression and this expression is a boolean expression but this is very complex very tougher one to match with this so we have to simplify this and how to simplify a boolean expression by using the laws of boolean algebra so for that we will write down few laws of boolean algebra that are required only for this problem and those laws are first of all we will write down the laws of boolean algebra first is let us take idempotent law idempotent law this law is if not if a dot a is equals to a and a plus a equals to a that means 1 dot 1 equals to 1 0 dot 0 equals to 0 1 plus 1 equal to 1 and 1 z plus 0 equal to 0 dot is and operation plus is or operation we know okay this is one law that we are going to use second is the de morgan's law de morgan's law now de morgan's law is if a and operation b and for both there is a bar then it can be written as separately as a bar and or operation b bar similarly a or b bar can be written as a bar and operation b bar and thirdly we will use double negation double negation law and double negation law is what it is if a double bar is equals to a that means one double bar equal to one zero double bar equal to zero so these three laws are important for solving this uh, or simplifying sorry simplifying this expression so that we could check with this expression we are able to check that okay now for that we have first of all just look at this a dot a could be written as a so a dot a could be written as a and b dot b could be written as b and there would be no other change so just in place of a dot a we will write a a there is a bar dot b and there is a bar here dot in place of b dot b we will write b bar a bar and this bar so everything is same except that in place of b dot b we have written b and in place of a dot a we have written a now this is it now next what we will do we will use the de morgan's law now here suppose that this much your this much is your a and this much is your b means not the upper not the upper okay not the upper up to up to this up to this negation we have a and this is b now it has been seen if you see just look at this one a dot b bar now this is a dot and this much is b and there is a bar should be equal to a bar now what is a this much is a that means this much is a and there is a bar so there is a bar then plus this much is b we should write b and there is a bar okay so we have got it and then we will use the double negation rule and double negation rule says if there is a double negation that they just get out whatever we have we have it a bar dot b plus b bar dot a and this could be written as a bar dot b plus a dot b bar and just check it 
this exactly matches with this this one exactly matches with this one you can see it this and this matches so answer is 2 and we don't even have to find out the boolean expression for option 3 and option 4 because we have got it already so answer is 2 for this problem thank you